hello guys welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to discuss about azure devops integration with sonar cube i have already made uh, many videos on this integration of sonar cube with azure devops okay so today's video is more related to azure devops integration with azure repository and branch policies okay so we will see how we can add our sonar cube pipeline in build validation in branch policies to run this pipeline whenever someone creates the pull request and check if that uh, our status check uh, for sonar cube is successful our quality gate is successful and their code is clean without even merging the code okay we will also add the status check in sonar queue and here this status check will update if uh, the status is completed that means sonar cube run is completed fine or not and these two validation will be done even before merging the code so no one will be able to merge their faulty code or maybe code with bugs in your release branch or maybe main branch where you have set this branch policy okay so these are two important things if you want to integrate sonar cube in your project in your azure devops many people generally follow generally they integrate sonar cube in build pipeline but even most of the organization or many of the organizations generally do that do that in their pull request itself so that no one can can merge their code without scanning with sonar cube okay so let's now start here is the documentation if you want to go through through it you can always go and check so let me now go to my sonar cube this is my sonar cube instance here if you will have to go to administration and devops platform integration if you come here you will see few of the options to integrate this with github bitbucket Azure DevOps and GitLab. Since we are using Azure DevOps, we will select Azure DevOps and we will create. Click on Create Configuration. Okay, this uh, creating configuration is not needed when you just need to run the scan from Azure DevOps in Sonar Cube. Okay, for this status check, you will have to create this configuration because for this status check sonar cube will uh, send the status i mean of the uh, run to azure devops pull request okay for that we need to create the configuration okay so let me create a configuration something like this you can read the instruction instructions here how you should be putting the configuration name here you will have to provide the azure devops url if you are using azure devops server you will have to provide something like this if you are using azure devops services you will have to provide this url okay now let's go to azure devops so this is my organization's url since i am using azure devops services this is my uh, this is dev.azure.com and this is my organization so this will be my organization url i will copy it and paste it here okay you can refer this if you need more details and you will have to update your personal access token as well that can be personal access token of your service account if you are part of some organization or that can be your personal as well so let me create my personal access token by going here personal access tokens i have already made a video on the personal access tokens if you don't know how to create or if you want to know this in detail you can always go and watch that so let me click on new token and give a name I'll set the expiry okay you can set whatever you want and we'll have to pro to provide the scope so scope will be something like this 
you will have to provide the azure repos permission to this pet with read and write permission so basically you will have to come here and check for code so this is the code you will have to provide this read and write permission okay and your pet will work so let me just quickly provide the full access if you are part of some organizations you please provide this code read and write permission for this to work okay if your organization don't allow your personal access token to be uh, to have full access okay let me copy this and paste it here click on save configuration okay the configuration now is added and it it says configuration is valid you can even check configuration as well so it is saying configuration is valid okay now here in azure devops you will have to come here in your organization and the project where you want to in, uh, do this go to repository so suppose let me open one of my repository this is the one ADO test and go to branches and I want to add a branch policy on this main branch so that if someone creates a pull request to this main branch they will have to go through the sonar cube scan and sonar cube status check okay i will come here and add a build validation in my branch policy here click on plus and you can add a build pipeline so let me check if i have the sonar pipeline i think this is the one add you test sonar cube run this is my pipeline i can add the trigger as automatic so whenever someone is creating the pull request the pipeline will be triggered automatically policy requirement should be required because uh, and if this pipeline is failed someone should not merge their code in the main branch okay you can make this as optional as well but uh, i will recommend it to make it required you can set the build expiration uh, when build should be expired you can say something like immediately when main is updated or after 12 hours or something like that okay you can add the name as well let me save it and you can see the build validation is added this pipeline is added now i will add the status check as well so let me click on plus sign i will have to write a status to, to check so if you have already run something in there it will come to select you but we have running this we are running the sonar cube status check for the first time you will have to add that here if you come in the documentation we have the status name here in the see this is the status name we have to provide to check the sonar cube status so i will add this okay and i will make this as required if you click on advance you can keep other settings as default and write a display name and click on save okay so we have modified the branch policies to add the build validation we in build validation we have added the sonar cube pipeline this pipeline will uh, build our code and run the analysis on that if that is failed the pipeline will fail and uh, the someone will not be or the person who has created the pull request will not be able to complete the pr same is the status uh, same is the case with the status check as well this will this status check will be done generally by sonar cube we have added the configuration here so once the scan is completed sonar cube this 
will send the status report to the pull request that uh, scan is successfully completed and a status check is ok then this will complete and user will be able to complete their pull request so let me quickly create a pull request and check if they are running or not let me go to pull request click on new pull request this is my main branch and I will give something like some message let me click on create the once I have create uh, clicked on create you can see these two, uh, these two are in queue they are not running because we have one merge conflict so let me resolve this once I resolve the merge conflict I should be able to I don't think I am getting option to resolve the merge conflict let me quickly just create another pull request go to pull request new pull request select another branch let me select base feature ok there is no changes let me go to base feature and make a change let me change this file commit it and click a create a pull request ok see now you can if you click on view all checks this sonar status check is waiting other uh, work item is fine because we have not linked the work item so if I link it ok there is no work item so just check for these two status sonar cube analysis and sonar cube status check they are waiting there might be some issue with the pipeline that's why this is not running so if there is some pipeline and that is let me check why that pipeline is not running this is the sonar cube pipeline Okay, it looks okay. Okay, there might be some issue here in the side. I mean here but if you have everything corrected there might be some issue and I will check that but uh, this is how we can add the build validation and status check ok so once you have added the build validation, uh, validation and this is completed this sonar status check will also be completed once this uh, I mean once this is uh, completed I mean uh, this uh, once you have added the Azure DevOps configuration at the moment this quality guest, uh, get status reporting is disabled because we have added we don't have the enterprise edition so if you have that it will be enabled by default okay since we have community edition this is not working properly so this is how you can uh, integrate sonar cube with your pull request and you can add build validation and status check in your sonar cube pull request so that people who are creating the pull request will not be able to complete their pull request until all these status checks are completed okay so there might be some issue with this my pipeline that's why this is not giving 
once i fix that i mean it will be able to queue that pipeline well, if that pipeline is successfully complete completed this will come as succeeded okay and this sonar status check will be coming from uh, this sonar queue if this is enabled quality gate status reporting is disabled at the moment okay you can see upgrade to developer edition to enable this feature so you will have to at least use developer edition or enterprise or higher edition uh, in that then only you can enable quality gate status reporting and this status check will come as succeeded okay so this is how we create the pull request and integrate sonar queue in our pull request branch policy okay that's it from this video if you have any doubts or suggestions or feedback please let me know in the comments if you like this video please like and subscribe my channel thanks for watching